everyone. Thank you for coming. I'm Mike Bloomberg, and I wanted to welcome all of you. For those of you who are customers, thank you very much. For those of you who are not, we're taking names on the way out. Um, we have to change that. Um, I think you're going to enjoy this afternoon. Uh, Francine, number one, is one of the great interviewers of all time. And we have a, a president uh, of uh, Pierre Moscovici, uh, who you're going to enjoy. He's a great guy. I just got to know him outside. Uh, fascinating. And I will be sitting there listening to every word. Uh, we have a great group of business people here today, leaders from France and beyond. And thank you all for coming. And our company, as you know, is always looking for ways to give customers the data and information that they need to navigate change. Change is something that uh, is good. Most people uh, like it a little bit, uh, but you have no choice. The world is getting changing at a faster and faster rate all the time. And how we keep up, whether it's the American debt crisis or what's going on in the Ukraine or in China, uh, nobody knows what tomorrow is going to bring, and so we have to, obligation to ourselves and to our companies, our employers, to uh, uh, do as much outreach as we can, and we hope that today will be useful to you all. Uh, we have a group of outstanding speakers, including the governor of the Bank of France, Francois Gigalo, the vice president of the European Commission, Franz uh, Timmermans, who will close the event, and, and our next speaker, the president of the French Court of Auditors and a former European commissioner, Pierre Moscovici. Uh, we are starting this day, uh, European Europe Day event, with a former EU commissioner and ending it with a current one. So let me give, uh, ask you to give them all a nice round of applause. A warm welcome. Thanks for joining us today. I've had the chance to work closely with many of the leaders here today on one of the most important issues that's shaping the future of finance, and that is climate change. Uh, the fact is climate change presents enormous financial risks in virtually every industry and around the world, and mitigating those risks and moving the world to clean energy, we all know will require an enormous amount of new investment, and much of it will have to come from the private sector. Fortunately, investors recognize that confronting climate change is not only a risk, but it is an opportunity. And clean energy investment has skyrocketed. Last year, it reached around $500 billion globally, which is a record high and more than double what it was a decade ago, and that's good news. The bad news is that it's still not happening fast enough. But by building partnerships across borders and across government and business, we can accelerate the pace. It won't be easy, but it can be done. And how to do it is a major focus of today's event. I'm glad to say that under President Macron, France has been a real leader in climate change, as well as in many other issues. And that includes efforts to bring more transparency to risks posed by climate change. Uh, let me give you an example. Our company is helping to lead the task, global task force on climate and relate, climate related financial disclosures, or TCFD for short. It provides a framework that allows companies to measure the risks they face from climate change, which will help them better allocate resources. And it gives investors information they need to drive more capital to companies that are acting to minimize their exposure to risks and capitalize on opportunities for growth. France was the first country to require risk reporting along TCFD guidelines, and more and more countries are following its lead. Uh, Bloomberg, you should know, is working with President Macron and other partners on other, another key piece of the disclosure puzzle, and that is emissions. Our work is led by Mary Shapiro, the former chair of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, and uh, together we're working to build a portal that will bring together standardized data on corporate emissions and making it available to the public for the first time. That, we think, will empower people to make informed decisions and hold companies accountable for making progress and backing up words with actions. And I want to thank everybody who is a part of that work and all the important work happening in Europe to cut emissions and grow the economy 
including Vice President Timmermans. He's been a strong advocate, you should know, for efforts to drive more climate financing to the Global South, too, and we're looking forward to hearing from him today. And so let me thank everyone who's here helping to build a stronger future for France. Paris is a very important market for our company. Our business is growing here, and so is the city's role as a financial center. And it continues to be a challenging and uncertain time for the global economy and for companies around the world. And that makes partnerships and collaboration even more important. So today's chance to exchange ideas on what's ahead uh, is great. And this is a great moment to do it in the lead up to President Macron's June summit. It's focused on harnessing the power of the global financial system to tackle big challenges. So thank you all again for coming.